Apple's deeply offended Tim Cook reveals errors by FBI as they tried to unlock San Bernardino Shooter's iPhone, and vows all-out battle with government over encryption. Apple CEO speaks at length on battle to stop FBI from getting court order forcing company to unlock San Bernardino terrorists encrypted iPhones. He uses interview with Time magazine to reveal what Apple says are errors by FBI which could have avoided court battle. Feds asked mass murderer said for Ux employers to change iCloud password. But movement agents could not then access his data by taking phone to his home Wi-Fi network and backing it up. Cook says he is country boy who fights back when threatened and says encryption is as important as the sun, the air and the water. Apple's chief executive has said that he fought back against the FBI on encryption because its lawsuit offended his southern pride. Tim Cook, who was born in Alabama, said that I'm a country boy at the end of the day who would not hesitate to fight back after being threatened. Cook claimed that he was deeply offended by the FBI's tactics which he says have included lying and behaving unprofessionally. He said that he thought encryption was as important as the sun the air and the water and that he would protect it. Cook spoke out in a lengthy interview with Time magazine which filled in the blanks of the early stages in the row. December 2, 2015. ISIS-inspired terrorists said Frook and his wife Tashfeen Malik massacre 14 people and injure 22 at the County Department of Public Health in San Bernardino, California, where he worked. December 3rd. FBI evidence response team descends on the couple's townhouse in nearby Redland and finds two smashed mobile phones and one intact iPhone 5s. The phone was owned by Forux employer, San Bernardino County which, at the request of the FBI, reset the iCloud password to gain access to the backups. But Farouk had not backed up since October 19 meaning the data was out of date and of little use. December 5. Apple says it was contacted by the FBI for the first time and handed over the iCloud backup and some other metadata. During December, Apple told the FBI that if it wanted a more recent backup it should take the phone to Farouk's apartment where it would automatically log on to the Wi-Fi and back itself up. This would have allowed Apple to look at the backup on its servers and find crucial data about who he was contacting in the days before the massacre. But since the iCloud password had been changed the phone would not back up automatically without the passcode, Apple says. In the Time article the FBI's move is described as a tactical error. January 2016. FBI requests a new version of iOS 9, the iPhone's operating system, without the feature which wipes the phone after the password is guessed incorrectly 10 times. The FBI could then do a brute force attack and use a computer to guess the password. Apple declines. Early February 2016. FBI starts talking about suing Apple for the data, according to Cook. February 16. Dispute explodes into public when FBI obtains a court order from a judge in California ordering it to unlock the phone by disabling the lockout if 10 password attempts are made. Tim Cook responds with 1,100 word public letter which calls the FBI's move chilling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.